Day two's entry is all about change. So with that in mind, I'd like to talk a bit about Edition Wars and why I genuinely don't have as much of an interest as I probably should. Now, putting aside the fact that in the vast majority of cases, the difference between one edition to the next isn't really worth discussing, because a lot of times it's just a refinement of what came before. The editions that actually radically change things are significantly more rare than people might think. It's definitely one of those cases where a recency bias comes into play because a lot of people, when they think of edition changes, they're probably thinking of stuff like World of Darkness or Dungeons and Dragons. And even with those, my whole policy has always been that I need to look at a work individually. Stan Lee once said that every comic is someone's first, and to me, every RPG is potentially someone's first in that same regard. Over the years, I've seen so many people's introduction in various ways to role-playing games that having a review of a new edition and, com and weighing that to the previous ones is impossible to do without the introduction of far, far too much bias into that coverage. This is why when I reviewed something as controversial as Shadowrun 6th edition, I didn't make any comparisons to its previous forms, because as far as I'm concerned, it's a, it's a brand new start for it. Now, if someone's a bit put off by some of the changes, that's perfectly fine, but that's not the style of video that I have any interest in making, especially since that involves getting really, really into the minutiae of things, and my whole goal is not to show off how much I know, but rather to show what's out there. There are other people who will put out videos to show off how much they know about a given RPG. That's not what I'm about. For me, every review and every unimpression is a chance to showcase someone's work to what audience that I'm able to essentially expand that particular reach. I've made it clear over the years that the goal for me has always been to expand the hobby. So focusing just on what was changed in a given um, setup, that does not expand. That restricts. Because the only people who are going to be interested in that particular kind of coverage are the people who already have a background and already kind of have a decision about whether or not this new edition is going to be worth it for them. And typically it's usually weighed against the new edition because that's how this always works. Change is scary and confusing. No one's going to deny that. But I do think that a lot of times when there's these edition debates, I find that the common notion I see is this new edition needs to live up to the previous one. If it doesn't, here's all the things that they changed that um, are inferior to the predecessor. Now, has this been applicable at times? Oh, definitely. And I can think of several where that's most certainly been the case, or not liking certain um, directions. But I always approach this very carefully because I don't want a coverage of, of, of these changes to just amount to a 10-minute video saying they changed it, now it sucks. Also, there's the elephant in the room that is it really fair to compare something that's been around for several years versus something that has been around for maybe a few months at best? I've never really thought so. See you next time, folks.